So today we're actually making a jug edit. Um, this is like one of my first times, so. All right, so I already picked out the sound. We're gonna press new project, and then we're gonna go to new composition from footage. Yeah. Don't mind this edit, y'all. Um, I kind of stole it from someone. Mm. I'm gonna mark my beats first. Alright, so I already have my edit planned out, of course, because I am, like... <laughs> oh, hey. You guys, it won't import. Stop. Wait. Alright, guys, so I was importing the wrong video. Okay. Also, I forgot to mention to import your clip, press Control i and then select the video. My bad. I'm just gonna delete that. Alright, so first we're going to do... It's gonna like zoom out, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do that. But first we have to pre-compose this and add Twixter. Now we're gonna search for Twixter. Okay, so first you're gonna make a keyframe on speed for the first frame. And then you're gonna change the speed to 160 at the first frame still. And then you're gonna move forward a few frames and change the speed to 30. And then to bring up your keyframes, press U on your keyboard. So yeah. Anyways, now we're gonna press Ooh, ouch, that hurt. Now we're gonna press S on our keyboard. We're gonna go to the beginning and we're gonna zoom it in. It should zoom out, but we're gonna drag this out a little bit more actually. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. We're going to bring up our graph, but we're going to change it to value graph, actually, something like this. All right, so that's good. I think I'm going to add, like, a light ray in her eye. We're going to go into this pre-comp. We're going to add an adjustment layer, and then we're going to search for light rays. And now we're going to put this over her eyeball. We kind of want it to, like, where it opens, I guess. I'm going to turn the intensity down because it's way too then what we're gonna do is kind of like make it move around in her eye. I'm gonna make ooh wait. We're gonna make a stopwatch for intensity and um center. And then we're gonna like go like right over here. And we're basically gonna move it like how her eyeball moves. Bam, we got like her eye glowing. That's so cool. After that, what we're gonna do is make it zoom back in. So we're gonna make a new no layer, and then we're gonna drag this down here towards right here. And then we're gonna press Shift Control D. We're just gonna delete that. And then what we're gonna do is copy this. So Control D. And then we're gonna move this up. And we're gonna put this over our other adjustment layer. But what we're gonna do is link them to the null object. So yeah. On our null object, we're gonna make it zoom in. So we're gonna start like right here, and we're gonna press the stopwatch for scale. We're just gonna go right here, and then we're gonna go 112, I think. However much you wanna zoom in, it's all up to you. Do a graph. Actually, move this back here. All right, so it kind of looks bad right in the row, but I need to move this back. Now what we're going to do is add a new um, solid, and what this is going to do is kind of give us that like bar effect. Well not bars, but like cinematic bar look. What am I about to do? Oh, search for CC Jaws, then we're going to add that to the solid, put completion up some, and you can kind of see like it's that jaw look, but we don't want this like, so we're going to change this to block. And then it gives us the blocks, but what we're going to do is change the height to zero. And then we're going to change the completion to 100. And we're going to make a keyframe right here. And then we're going to go like where our clip kind of ends. And we're going to change it to 65 is fine, I guess. And then easy ease. And then once we play this back. Okay, so as you know, I didn't finish the edit, but um, I got this part done, and all I would say is, like, experiment with different stuff. So, like, 
add some one frame glitches and like add some shakes or whatever but yeah just experiment and do whatever you think looks best and what you like so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this week's video thank you for 1.3k 1.4k i actually don't know where we're at but thank you guys so much love you and peace <laughs>